The year 2025 marks a pivotal moment for India's strategic posture. The nation stands transformed, no longer merely a regional player, but a formidable defense power on the global stage. This ascent is the culmination of decades of focused effort, indigenous innovation, and strategic foresight. India's defense capabilities have undergone a profound metamorphosis, driven by the imperative to secure its sovereign interests in an increasingly complex and contested world. The shadows of past vulnerabilities are receding, replaced by the confident stride of a nation equipped to meet any challenge. This new reality is built on a bedrock of advanced weaponry and a clear-eyed understanding of modern warfare's evolving dynamics. The journey to this point has been characterized by a relentless pursuit of self-reliance, or Atmanirbharta, in defense production. India's scientific community, its defense research organizations and its burgeoning private sector industry have risen to the occasion. They are delivering cutting-edge systems that are not just comparable to global standards but, in some instances, surpass them. This indigenous thrust ensures not only technological sovereignty, but also greater operational flexibility and a reduced dependence on external suppliers. The message is clear. India is now a creator, not just a consumer, of advanced defense technology. The strategic environment confronting India necessitates such a robust defense architecture. This is the story of India's emergence as a power that commands respect, ensures its security, and contributes to a stable, albeit reconfigured, global order. India's strategic deterrent capabilities have received a monumental boost with the operationalization of several advanced missile systems by 2025. Foremost among these is the BrahMos II, a hypersonic cruise missile developed jointly with Russia, though with an increasing indigenous component. Capable of achieving speeds around Mach 7, this weapon presents an almost insurmountable challenge to existing air defense systems. The BrahMos II can deliver conventional or nuclear warheads with pinpoint accuracy, making it a versatile tool for surgical strikes against high-value targets. Further solidifying India's long-range strike power is the Agni-6 Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, or ICBM. This formidable weapon now entering service reportedly possesses the capability to carry multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, or MIRVs. The Agni 6's extended range ensures that India's nuclear deterrent is not geographically constrained, providing a truly global reach. Complementing these land-based systems is the K-4 Submarine Launched Ballistic Missile, or SLBM. The successful development and deployment of the K-4 SLBM is a testament to India's mastery over complex missile and nuclear submarine technologies. India's maritime power has witnessed a paradigm shift by 2025, with its naval assets embodying both strength and sophistication. Central to this is the INS Arahant class of nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines, or SSBNs. The INS Arahant, and its subsequent sister vessels, provide India with an assured second-strike capability, a cornerstone of credible nuclear deterrence. These submarines, armed with strategic missiles like the K-4 SLBM, can remain submerged for extended periods, patrolling vast swaths of the ocean undetected. The nation's carrier capability has also been significantly enhanced. The INS Vikrant, India's first indigenously built aircraft carrier, is now fully operational, projecting power far beyond Indian shores. A critical, yet less visible aspect of India's naval prowess, lies in its advanced anti-stealth radar technologies and sophisticated electronic warfare, or EW systems. The underwater domain is further secured by a growing fleet of conventional attack submarines and advanced anti-submarine warfare, or ASW capabilities. This multi-layered approach ensures that India's seas remain secure, facilitating trade and deterring illicit activities and potential threats. Section 4. The Algorithmic Shield AI and Quantum Leaps in Vigilance the battlefield of 2025 is increasingly dominated by data and speed, and India has made significant strides in leveraging artificial intelligence for its defense systems. AI-guided targeting systems are moving from developmental stages to active deployment, offering unprecedented precision and efficiency. These systems can analyze vast amounts of sensor data from multiple sources, satellites, drones, ground radar, in real time, identifying and prioritizing targets far quicker than human operators. This dramatically shortens the OODA loop, giving Indian forces a critical time advantage in dynamic combat scenarios. A revolutionary development spearheaded by the Defense Research and Development Organization is the progress in quantum radar technology. Traditional stealth technologies rely on shaping and materials to deflect or absorb radar waves, making aircraft like stealth jets difficult to detect. Quantum radars, however, operate on different principles, potentially using quantum entanglement or quantum illumination. Beyond targeting and detection, AI is also being integrated into intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance platforms. AI algorithms can sift through petabytes of satellite imagery, 
communication intercepts, and open source intelligence to identify patterns, predict enemy movements, and provide actionable intelligence to commanders. The algorithmic shield being forged is a testament to India's scientific prowess and its commitment to technological superiority in defense. Section 5. Eyes in the Sky, Space-Based Sentinels, and Strategic Reach India's capabilities in the space domain have become an indispensable component of its national security architecture by 2025. The demonstration of anti-satellite capability with Mission Shakti in 2019 was a clear statement of India's resolve to protect its space assets and deter any aggression in this increasingly contested frontier. The Indian Space Research Organization, in close collaboration with defense agencies, operates a sophisticated network of defense and dual-use satellites. Satellites like the GSAT-7 series provide dedicated communication links for the Indian Navy, Air Force and Army, ensuring secure and reliable command and control across vast distances. Furthermore, RISAT and Cardosat series satellites provide high-resolution imagery, day and night, and in all weather conditions. The integration of space-based intelligence with terrestrial and airborne ISR assets creates a comprehensive multi-layered surveillance grid. Section 6. Forging Bonds, Strategic Alliances in a Multipolar World While India champions self-reliance, or Atmanir Bharta, in its defense modernization, it also recognizes the pragmatic value of strategic partnerships in a complex multipolar world. By 2025, India has cultivated a network of robust defense agreements that enhance its technological base, operational interoperability, and diplomatic leverage. Key among these is the Quadrilateral Security Dialogue, or QUAD, an informal strategic forum comprising India, the United States, Japan, and Australia. India maintains strong, time-tested defense relationships with countries like Russia, France, and Israel. These strategic agreements often involve more than just arms sales. They encompass joint military exercises, training programs, intelligence sharing, and crucially, technology transfer and co-development initiatives. However, India navigates these alliances with a firm commitment to its strategic autonomy. This balanced approach allows India to leverage international cooperation to accelerate its defense modernization while retaining the independence to act decisively in pursuit of its own security objectives. Section 7. The Shifting Sands, India's Defense Trajectory and Global Stability India's remarkable defense advancements by 2025 carry profound implications for regional and global security dynamics. The emergence of a technologically sophisticated and militarily capable India acts as a significant stabilizing force in a volatile Indo-Pacific. Its enhanced deterrent capabilities, particularly its credible nuclear triad and advanced conventional systems, reduce the likelihood of large-scale conflicts by raising the costs of aggression for any potential adversary. The recent Operation Sindor in May 2025 highlighted the dangerous realities of the region. India's growing defense industrial base, fueled by the Atmanir Bharda initiative, positions it as a potential exporter of sophisticated and cost-effective defense systems to friendly nations. Ultimately, India's defense trajectory in 2025 is not about seeking hegemony, but about ensuring its own security and contributing to a multipolar world order where disputes are resolved peacefully and international law is respected.